hello everyone welcome to this youtube video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to build a simple face mask detection algorithm using yellow v5 so let's begin this project In this project, I'm going to use face mask detection dataset from Kaggle. It have three classes, which are face with face mask, face without face mask, and face with incorrect face mask. So we have these three classes, and we have images and uh, annotations, but we have this XML file in different format but we need to convert this for yellow v5 format first of all we are going to create two empty folder which are labels and images because we need these two folders to train our yellow v5 model so let's run this cell so let's see here we have empty labels folder and uh, image folder which image folder is now filled with all the images from this original data so we have done up to this much now we need to fill this folder with the correct labels for yellow v5 so we need to convert those xml file to txt file and we need to convert those data also so currently we have the xml data in this format that we need to convert it for v 5 data format so first of all we have this xml file and it have the image name this label is for this image and the width, height and the depth of the image depth means the channels which is RGB for the three channels and the objects up to this much and each object contain the bounding box and the label without mask or with mask or mask with incorrect like that um, then so these are information we need to collect from this object so the label and the B box this all information we need so we have multiple face from a single image so let's extract this data from this xml file only this block of code is need to do the job so first see this we need to import this library to work with xml files and this is the folder location this folder location you can copy path from here and you will get this location or the pad looping through all the files all the XML files in this folder and then getting the that the file name width height of the image and this is just a dictionary and from its file I'm looking for object so one image file may contain three four or many faces of detection with the many bounding boxes so we need to loop for all those bounding boxes and we are extracting it like this x1 y1 x2 y2 value this is what is in the XML file like this these are once we have these four values, we need the x and y, weight and height. This is how we converted it. And once we have these four values, we can create a string like this way. And we append like this and created a new file with the same file name as we extracted from here. So let's run it. 
it is done now if I just check this labels folder and I can see there all the files created so clear output now we have to we have to download the yellow v5 from the github like this and then once we have the file we are going to move into the yellow v5 folder like this way do not run this cell twice otherwise you will do this cd yellow v5 you will run this twice and the code won't work as you might think because of this line anyway first download this move to the yellow v5 folder and install all the requirements from the requirements.txt import all the important libraries here and clearing output let's run this so we have done now we have to disable this and we install it and then disable it like this I don't know why we need this but I'm just disabling it like this way and this is our custom YAML file to train our custom model so here I'm giving this the pad we don't need this the pad is we need to come backward so just like this and the train and the well are the same folder images and the images as you know we only need to define images folder and the labels folder we don't need to define it automatically finds it we only have to name the folder as labels so we are defining our data's images are in this folder so this is and the classes the number of class we have is three and what are those classes this is you can rename these class names but I keep it like this so three classes and now create a file a YAML file in the data directory like this so run it it's done now train our model and how we do it like this using the python command train.py image size the batch size epoch number and the data the custom yml file and the weight file like this so let's run it and it will train our model once the training completes we will copy the file and we will download the file so first let it train it will take little time because it's gonna run 50 epoch so let's wait and see so finally this training has completed so let's see the training result and we got many epochs which is 50 number of epochs and here is the final training output the precision is 94.8 percent recall is 91.4 percent and the MAP is 95.9 percent on this data set and the trained model is saved in this location this is the one this is the another one the, the last.pt and the base.pt are almost same but the last.pt is the file that is trained until this 50 epoch but this base.pt is the file that is could be from any epoch which has which has the best accuracy value so you can choose any one of these two I'm choosing this one so to get this file I'm simply copying the file from this location to the root directory like this and this is how I got this file here 
best.pt I can download it now by clicking here since I already downloaded and rename this into model.pt file so let's use it I have a python file here and I will upload all of these files you can find this from the description below so let's see what we have this python file because this python file is doing all the job so first of all we have all the imports and then some values we need to define the camera index which model we are using which is the model.pt or best.pt like that and this is the weight and height of the input image this size should be multiplication of 32 so remember that and here defining what device to use I'm using CPU but you can use GPU as well here I'm just writing the normal yellow b5 codes and finally you can see in this for loop I'm looping through all the predictions and I'm getting this the bounding box the confidence score and the class which means the label so once we have these values we can give various condition in it like we can use this bounding box to place a rectangle and we can place text from the class so we can do various things like this and this is here I'm displaying the image and close this image window by pressing Q so this is all so let's run it and see what it does Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel and please support me on Buy Me Coffee website.